Hey, Crow, or should I say Aldrin? Just kidding, just kidding. Uh, a little bit of an inside joke there you wouldn't understand. Just wanted to pop by and talk with you because I feel like we need to have like an awkward conversation. It's going to get really weird. So, you know, brace yourself, hold on to your Hawk Moon and get ready because shit is about to hit the fan, buddy. First thing I wanted to say is super stoked to free you from the spider. You know, I thought it was kind of fucked up that he rigged your ghost with explosives. So really happy to free you. Happy you're a free man, a free guardian. And also, I do really appreciate you bringing the Hawk Moon. I love that thing. I'm using it in the Crucible all the time. Just like, Arr! it's awesome. Love it. Appreciate you, bud. And now, speaking of loot that you've been bringing to us, a lot of people have brought it to my attention that you've been dropping a Memory of Cade class item. And we're going to need to talk about that because uh, it's a little awkward, okay? And uh, there's really no easy way to say this, but uh, before your ghost resurrected you and brought you back to life, you were kind of a dick in your past life, like a really big dick. You were Aldrin Sav, Prince of the Reef, and your sister was Mara Sav. And in your past life of being Aldrin Sav and being super big douchebag, you actually killed the hunter vanguard Cade 6 in cold blood. Kind of a big deal, and a lot of people don't like you for it. Like, now that you're a free guardian all, I imagine you might go to the tower. And I'm just saying, when you show up, just be careful walking by Ikora. Because, honest to God, she is probably going to hit you with a Nova Bomb on sight. So I just wanted to let you know that, you know, returning to the tower might not be the best idea for you, bud. And if everyone sort of alienates you and treats you weird there, you can always go to the farm because literally no one goes there anymore. So that might work as a sort of safe haven for you as people sort of slowly figure out that you're alive again. So, uh, sorry to drop like a massive bombshell on you like that, but, uh, good luck with that, bud. And uh, I don't hold any grudges at all, but if I do see you in Crucible, I'm definitely going to teabag you, okay? Later.